Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly is good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Thank you for being here and thank you for the super thanks. And this is to use your own insertion here. Okay, so Tyler Perry, can't be too happy with Megan. I feel that after the birthday party situation when he fled apparently allegedly entertainment purposes which I do believe he did because I got he did uh, and so did other readers uh, doesn't think too highly of her now that he is going to be the owner of BET entertainment I don't think he wants her nor is she his type uh, doesn't go that way apparently allegedly uh, so what does he think of her now that he knows that she's the one who called for the drones uh, he's, he's probably feeling kind of used and had by this, like everybody else, right? Uh, it's kind of what she does. It's how she operates. She uses people for her benefit. She does what she wants. There's absolutely no boundaries. You do not put boundaries on a narcissist like her. Uh, even if you do put one, they're going to break it. It's like, who do you think you are? Uh, like when she was in Australia throwing hot tea, um, you know, at a, at a dignitary's wife, uh, screaming, don't you know who I am? And, and nothing, you don't put boundaries on them. That's that's the easiest way to get rid of them, by the way, is you put boundaries on them. They don't like those boundaries. So how does Tyler Perry feel? Well, one flipped, I'm going to grab it. There it is. The ty It's unlikely to ever rebuild a relationship. It's at the bottom. It's right here. This here, not, it's like an earthquake, major earthquake to the relationship to the point it's so crumbled probably not going to ever rebuild so there is no there is no it's feeling like under attack too it's an under attack card he's not going to even reevaluate what he thinks of her in this position uh it's a major life lesson uh it's a major change in the relationship it's a fall from grace in the relationship total upheaval uh it's a major life lesson my god i've helped her look what she does another hit another yet another hit by her so not likely it doesn't look good for them uh kind of in a corner uh and um unwilling to rebuild with her not likely to so he's gonna have to probably try to avoid her uh and that's how i feel about that either that or he's in total denial but the fact that under the deck he's tr gonna try to be at peace he's not going to take it up with her uh here you know, this is the rivalry, creating drama and arguing here. He's just going to give it up, the conflict. He's, nah, sorry, I'm just going to be in peace here. So he's, he wants to remain in peace. He doesn't even want to take it up with her, probably because he understands what she is. I don't think he's an idiot. He doesn't. You don't get this far in life and be an idiot. Sorry, the guy's got to have some brains. So yeah, there's a lot of grudges going on here with the judgment in reverse. He's got some grudges. He's not happy with her. Uh, not likely to forgive her with that. And he gave her an opportunity here. He gave her an opportunity. He gave her a proposition to stay there. And that was a plus and a benefit for her. Uh, the next position, going to the future, there's going to, he's going to accept it that there is no silver lining in Meghan Markle. At the hidden here, it's come to an end. We're done. We're done. We're done. Ten of Swords. It's a backstab. You know, wow, I give you this and you do this. Uh, I don't think so. And then the past position that doesn't serve is her anxiety. Uh, she acted like she had ex extreme panic and anxiety and that she was unable to heal and rest and recover and, and have that solitude, you know. So he doesn't believe it anymore because that was a past position of what she used. She said, oh, my God, we can't get any peace. There's no solitude. They just keep coming, yada, 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 lie, lie, lie. And he did all this for her, and look how she treats him. What a backstabber, you know. Um, this here is just, you know, relapsing. It's a kind of a relapsing also. Uh, she's constantly relapsing. So let's get to the uh, feelings in this situation for Tyler Perry. The feelings is, well, Ten of Wands. Yeah, burden. She was nothing but a burden. And he, I think that she was a burden to his employees, too, if you guys recall. Uh, they were very rude to his staff, staff that he had for many years. And people were like, wow, you know, he'll probably never talk to her again. But he did. So it's really shocking how forgiving he is. Peace, peace. He doesn't like to fight. He understands that she's kind of, but he's not going to forgive her. Not likely to rebuild now. But he's he, he just likes to stay in peace. He doesn't want to. He, he's not the kind of guy to go head to head. I think he's too busy and successful to deal with this kind of chaos and drama 
uh, from a two-bit actress who was on, on a cable show. So I don't think he wants to do that. That's what it's looking like. Uh, let's get to the outside influences. Outside influence. Yeah, the decisions made. Two of swords in reverse. And boy, that was poor judgment. Uh, the heart chakra's blocked. You know, uh, not really interested. Uh, he's not going to debate it with her. Sorry, it's already a done deal. What can you do with the done deal, right? But he knows about it now. So let's get to the hopes and fears, hopes and fears, hopes and fears. Uh, oh, gosh, no. Well, hopes and fears probably for himself is to basically get recognition, skill, and for his abilities. He's... Uh, He's, he's starting an organization right now. He's buy, He just bought a big business here, uh, BET. So I think he's focused on his mastery and skill of business and organizations and getting, getting the congratulations. Uh, but, you know, he might congratulate her on some things, but on her work skills, but on her, her ruthlessness, I guess is a better way to put it. But that's about it. So he knows that she's just one of these, four of cups. Uh, I would say he's not interested in her. This is indifference. He's going to act very indifferent. He's going to wall himself off with apathy. Um, yeah, and he realizes, yeah, this is a stuck in life position. Uh, you know, I'm kind of stuck in this. There's no fixing it. I'm just going to accept it. But he's not going to accept her. It's a not accepting of her. So I don't think he's going to accept her in, to, in doing any work with her. Even though there's compromises in the situation that he allowed her into his world, uh, which affects him in a very big way because now we're always talking about him with her. And that has negatively affected him. But it will never be enough working with her. She, it will never be enough for her. Whatever you give her, it's never enough. With the Four of Cups, it just is never enough. Uh, this person is more of a dreamer, yearning for more, always wanting more. The house wasn't enough. The, the employees weren't enough. The help wasn't enough. Complain, 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 victim, victim, victim. And then trying to hold herself up that, oh my God, I'm so anxious. You know, so drama, drama. He's not going to do anything about it, but he's not going to forgive her. Not likely to rebuild the situation. He realizes she's tanking. She's tanking and she's not likely to rebuild uh, because it's really coming for her. And most people are not going to forgive her. There is no spiritual enlightenment for her. There is no moving forward with purpose. There is no letting go of grudges. Uh, the self-evaluation for Megan's in reverse. She does not self-evaluate. She has no self-awareness. Awareness. It's a no position. He's just going to tell her no for now on. No, I don't want to intermingle with you. No, we're not going to rise up from the ashes together. Uh, no, I, I'm good. This is no, this is no. You know, I've given you opportunities. I gave you yeses before. You know, I tried helping you out of your emotional depression and getting out of a bad situation, leaving the royal family. I've been there. I helped you. You know, there was competition, struggles, and battles in, within the house. And, you know, you're just a backstabber. This came to an end here. So I think he's done. He's done helping her. He's not going to help her because it will never be enough. She will always be that person looking out a window wondering what she can get next. Uh, it's a lot of missed opportunities. It's a missed opportunity for Megan. It's her loss. It's not his loss. So let's clarify that four of cups. Let's clarify that four of cups. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the lost opportunity for her to feel like he's, she's part of his, uh, fruits of life. You know, he shared his fruits of life with her, uh, the full enjoyment of what his abundance has been, his great security. Uh, it's her loss. It's her loss, actually, what she's done to every family that she's ever been part of. So she tends to repeat these problems with family, especially wealthy families. And then we have here, and she manifests a situation. She uses all resources to do that. So he used all his resources to help her. He used all his resources to put her in his wealthy home, and it was not enough. Uh, Markle tends to do that. She can manifest getting into these wealthy families with wealthy people, but it's never enough. Uh, so he sees how capable she is at mastering getting in, but it's never enough. She's very good at getting in, but she cannot maintain it. And yeah, because she doesn't get enough attention. Attention is attention is attention. She did it for attention. She wasn't getting the attention, so she had to call the drones. She had to call the paps. Hey, here I am. 
come on over with your cameras overhead and get some shots. That's what she does when she feels like a failure, when she feels like a loser. There's not, I'm not getting enough attention. So what does she do? She wants that fruits of life. She wants that sense of permanence with money and she's going to make it happen because she's filling her bank account. It's clarified feeling like a loser. Whoa. Feeling like a loser, if she just feels like life's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. She's weeping. She's crying. She does it to make herself feel better. And she knows that she has no friends and the secret's out with the high priestess in reverse. And now she's going to withdraw, go into silence. He's going to withdraw, go into silence, focus on themselves. And what a nightmare this has been. Uh, loss of sleep, insomnia. Uh, you know, this person here is just bothered conscience she should have a bothered conscience but she doesn't because she doesn't have aces in her feelings so she's antisocial. who should have a, a have a bothered conscience so i think he realizes she's antisocial. she has no friends people are not drawn to her neither is he he's not drawn to her he's not drawn to the antisocial female and she's superficial in all her relations and she got busted that is the getting busted position here. She is that snake in the grass. She got her little duper's delight, but now that smirk is wiped right off her face. Sorry, take that smile off your face. And it did. And he wasn't happy either. He wasn't smiling. So, yep, she's not in the home. He had her leave with Harry. Uh, leave the painful place for more, more potential. Sorry, it's not going well for you. It feels like a toxic home and you don't feel safe in my home from the drones. Well, let me tell you, maybe you guys should move on. So they did. So here we go. They left and now they're stuck and they're still in a position where they're not happy. They're built on quicksand. No matter where they're at, they got to leave because it's painful. It's not working out. They have a lack of harmony with people because this is a six in reverse. They have a lack of, of, of stability ability because it's a four. Uh, four in reverse is loss of control. Everywhere they go, they lose control of themselves within the home because there's absolutely no harmony there. So that calculates to a six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That would be a ten in reverse. So ten upright is three of diamonds. That would be trinity. That would be, that is the three of pentacles working together uh, for mastery and skill. Teamwork makes the dream work, but it's in reverse. He doesn't want to work with her anymore. Sorry, you're not a dream to work with. I don't want to work with you anymore. So now that he got her out of his home and got her away, he does not want her back. He's not going to work with her, which means and calculates to, no, we aren't going to date. And no, you will not be my beard wife. No, nothing's going to happen here. Allegedly entertainment purposes. This is how he is. Uh, according to what everyone's saying on, on uh, social media when I asked. I didn't know. I was unaware until they said so. But uh, here you have it. He's happy to have gotten rid of them. Uh, he's feeling like they, they are betrayers. They're just nothing but drama, nightmare, use people to their advantage. People just aren't drawn to them. And they're basically overall losers. And I think he's too much of a winner focused on his own uh, Three of Pentacles, his own recognition for getting this new organization that he's about to close on. He doesn't have time for them. He knows what she's about, and it's never enough. I hope you enjoyed this. Till next time, like and subscribe. Bye, you guys.